Hello sir, my name is Saikat and I am currently a 4th year undergrad student in Material Science and Engineering Department and today I am going to present my second assignment on Biofilms Formation. Uh, so let's get started with it. Tens of millions of medical devices are used each year and in spite of many advances in biomaterials, a significant proportion of each type of devices become colonized by bacteria and becomes the focus of devices related infection. Topical devices example contact lenses are colonized as soon as they are placed on the tissue surface and transcutaneous devices such as vascular catheters are progressively colonized by skin organism and even surgical implanted devices regularly become the focus of the infection. The bacteria that cause device related infections were common skin biota example Staphylococcus epidermis and the common environmental organism example Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Because the infecting bacteria were found everywhere in the modern human environment, devices recipients always had a good immunity against this low level pathogens. It was the frontline medical specialists who gradually persuaded medical microbiologists and infectious disease specialists that device related infection differed from acute bacterial infection in several important aspects. The biofilm concept was developed and articulated first time in environmental microbiology and it was introduced into medical microbiology when Tom Mary examined the surface of devices that had failed because of bacterial infection. In particularly, his concept states that bacteria in all but most of the nutrient deprived ecosystem grow preferentially in matrix enclosed communities attached to the surfaces. The first stage of biofilm formation occurs when a specific environmental signal induces a genetic program in a free living planktonic cells. As the cell enters into the biofilm formation, they no longer maintain their flagella and instead may move along the surfaces using a twitching motility. As more and more cell binds to the surface and divide, they form micro colonies and can begin to communicate with each other by sending and receiving chemical signals in a process called Cora sensing. Cora sensing in Pseudonomus aeruginosa play a role in the maturation of the biofilm into complex three dimensional form such as column and streamers uh, forming channels through which nutrients flow sessile cells in a biofilm chemically talk to each other in order to build micro colonies. The strategy most commonly used in the current antibacterial biomaterial is the incorporation of conventional antibiotics into the material with the objective of killing incoming planktonic cells before they can adhere and initiate biofilm and this can be accomplished by three general strategies. First, systematic antibiotic therapy that produces bactericidal concentration in the body fluid in the operative phase. Second, release of antibiotics and other bacteria CL manipulation molecules from the biomaterials to produce high and sustained concentration of agent in the immediate vicinity of the device. Third, irrigation and other techniques that deliver antibiotics to the biomaterial surfaces after the device is installed before the operative wound is closed.